back. My name is LC, and today we are here with a very sad day of news. I know I'm actually pretty late to this. This happened like last week, but I was pretty busy to cover it back then. I am free now. We are covering the closure of Mortal Kombat Onslaught. As you all know, or if you're new to the channel, I did cover Mortal Kombat Onslaught from time to time. It was a pretty frequent thing until I stopped because I kind of felt like the game kind of got a little dry and stale. Now we gotta know why. So, uh, <clears throat> what was that? Wishback. So, yeah, basically, Mortal Kombat Onslaught will be shutting down. I'll be splitting into why, as well as, you know, what I think about other games kind of like following along that similar path and like similar companies and whatnot. So that interests you, then stay tuned. I want to thank all of you guys for watching, whether you're old or new viewers or subscriber, I appreciate it all the same. Now, let's get right into it. So, we have the tweet from Mortal Kombat Onslaught's official Twitter page. It says, Mortal Kombat Onslaught will shut down on October 21st, 2024. The game will be removed from the App Store and Google Play on the, the 7th, or July, basically. July 22nd, 2024. So, if you have it installed already, don't delete it. Which, the thing is, yeah, don't delete it. I don't, today of the release of recording, it's... It's the day, so like, it's take off the app store today, like, it's, it's gone. So like, if you want to keep it on there, keep it, but like, the game will shut down in October. Within the game, purchases will be disabled, disabled, excuse me, on August 23rd, 2024. Players can still, can enjoy the game until the October 21st. It's been an honor creating this game for our community. So, if you've been away, there has been some layoffs at Warner Brothers, right? Um, or Warner Brothers has been causing layoffs, especially with their own studios. And I'm pretty sure some people said that they fired like the whole mobile division. I don't think that's accurate. I think they they let go like again the Mortal Kombat Onslaught team. Yes, they did that. But now those people are out of jobs. Yes, and um, now some people who like I know that they're kind of transferring like some workers to like the main games like Injustice 2 Mobile or Mortal Kombat Mobile. So those games, thankfully, are still, you know, are still being like kept on the store. It's like even the Twitter for them, it says, Another of Studios would like to assure all players and our fans that the ongoing commitment to Mortal Kombat Mobile is like, it'll still continue. The game will continue operations at full support. Same with Injustice 2. It's the same thing. Um, so yeah, those two games are a big stay. I'm pretty sure those two games bring in way more than Mortal Kombat Onslaught did. Um, I guess it just wasn't I don't know. I don't really know what happened in the back. I know that, um, like, Warner Brothers has been, like, messing up NetherRealm Studios for, like, quite some time, right? But to see this happen, honestly, the thing is, I thought this game had at least, like, two years in its life lifespan, right? Because it's it's a good it would like, the, the idea of it is good, right? But I guess, like, the, maybe the execution was wrong. I don't know. There were some things I didn't agree with, right? But I still liked playing it sometimes throughout the, the day, right? It was, and I loved the story. The story was actually one of the best things about it, even though it was, like, ported from Mortal Kombat 11. But, like, it just ported to uh, the mobile, right? But for the most part, it was a, a really good game. But I guess maybe it wasn't bringing enough money. I don't know. Maybe they just thought, since Mortal Kombat is a pretty big IP, right, they thought it would bring in more, but it really wasn't. I know for myself, I didn't spend too, too much on it. Um, I spent maybe like what? I mean, under 200, absolutely under 200. Because I remember I bought something for Smoke and I bought something else, but that was pretty much it. I didn't go too crazy because I knew like, not saying the game wasn't worth it, but I was like, I know if I can just save and just summon over time, I can get characters I want, right? Um, and that's what I did. Um, so with this game closing, it kind of does go to show you like, if you're like a pay to win player, they could just take away the game just like that like take it with ease and that's something to be mindful of right because you could spend thousands into a game right and they'll just take it off the app store all of your stuff is gone you can't do anything with it anymore and that's the sad part about it you know what i mean because it's like you invest so much time money into this game and then just completely axe it you know what i mean like it makes sense right because if not bringing any more money or simply like time to change when people are not playing it as often then i get that right but I feel like if there comes a time where like a game is not doing well anymore, I feel like you should at least like leave it. You know what I mean? Like, if you want to make everything in the store for in the game free, you can, and like that's it. I think that's kind of like the, the issue with like a lot of games nowadays because now that not a lot of them nowadays, they do require, um, they do require your like a network connection. So like once that's like once they like switch that network off of the game it's done you can't log into it anymore it's it's wrapped it's done so like that's something that's really unfortunate about these games nowadays 
But yeah, I know this is honestly it's pretty sad to see because again, like any at any moment, any given time, your favorite game could just go like just like that. It could just pop, just snap, instant. It could be sweet done, and you could never get it back. Um, like with Spider Man Unlimited, that was one of my favorite games ever. Like I'm not even gonna lie to you, like that game was a classic. But I forget what the reason why, but they took it off the App Store too, and you're you better have had that game like downloaded or like kept it on your device or else you're not getting that back that that game's gone like you just can't you can still kind of play it ish but like you'll be able to like you'll summon for characters or something like that right so this really does make you think about the future of like the games you play right because at any given moment they can just stop just stop for whatever reason right like I think a pretty recent example, I think it happened last year or the year before, but I think it was last year. It, they made a Data Live game, and it was actually, for my, in my opinion, it was actually a pretty fun game. It was small, but like, it was a pretty fun game. And I know that there was like a base game, and then they made, like, they like redid it kind of in like an HD format. And then soon afterwards, they took the game off the App Store too. Like, it's just done. Kup, kup, put, it's, it's done. So, like, it just really makes me think. And the thing is, there's even another new example. This was last year. I think last year or earlier this year but I think it was last year Avatar Generations that game got axed too like a lot of these games that like you think like they have like such strong characters such a strong cast but the execution is never perfect with Mortal Kombat though like it's it's, it's kind of different to say that because like their fighting games actually do well and, like don't get, they get it twisted these fighting games on the mobile community they make a lot like don't think they don't because they really do people be spending money on this um Sometimes myself included. Not anymore, but like I used to, like a lot. Like it was bad, but like I used to, and it was was it worth it? Yeah. But like honestly, I'm I'm not saying I regret it. But like, yeah, don't think they don't spend a lot of money on these games. But I think when it comes to like idle games or idle RPG games, you that is something you have to like. You have to nail it on the head to do well, because not a lot of them can. Not a lot of like idle RPG games can get it right. I don't know how, but they just can't. Like, for instance, I think what game was it? I know it's on my channel. I covered it like once or twice. But that game is extremely free to play. It's so free to play, and like you can spend money on it if you want to. But like, it's such a free to play game, and I think that's why it lasts so long. I'm not saying that's why the the game does so well, but like, I'm not like the game doesn't have to be free to play to be good, obviously. But like, there has to be some kind of balance in between. And I feel like with Mortal Kombat Onslaught, it's not that it couldn't be free to play, it's just that you can, obviously. But like, I think you would've got a much, like you would, if you spent money on that game, you would've had like a way much better time, right? And the way Mortal Kombat Onslaught was, it was honestly like, it was, that, it was not like, in the beginning it was definitely grindy and like, the, the amount of stuff that they gave was definitely like kind of like minimal like again the, the game was very different than it was now like it was not it was not something you can see like chronicles weren't even a thing like it was, it was a whole different landscape right now it's much better but like now it's, the game's dead so it's like it makes no sense right um but yeah this really just makes you think about how like the games we play now are like, kind of like got leverage because any moment they can just say bye bye and they're just done right and i know like this is like a there's a deeper rooted problem um, within, like you know, Nether Realm and Warner Bros. Right? Like it's a whole, it's a whole thing, right? But like, for this to happen, it really makes you think, like, what really went down in the back end? Because for them to just completely axe it, just like that, is crazy. I think they got out the chapter ten. I think that was the last update ever, and that wasn't that long ago. It was like maybe like a month or two ago. And then, because it was like radio. Thing is. I was watching like I was I played that little bit of chapter like nine and ten, right? But for me, it was literally complete silence. I was like, this is odd. No games don't really like that games, but like when you're running a mobile game, you don't really have like a you shouldn't really have a silent period, you know what I mean? You should still like keep your like the fans of the game, like or the community anyway. You should keep them like involved, you know what I mean? No, like it was like silence it was just nothing like they'll post them every now and then but i think it's because they knew that like like obviously like maybe layoffs was going to happen and the game was shutting down that's why they kind of just like kind of just went quiet but like 
to this extent holy smokes man jeez this is it's honestly sad it honestly is and like a lot of people think like oh is mk mobile justice 2 next no it's not they even said themselves that they are being untouched or fine right because those two are like the juggernauts of not like metal Arm studios but like again they they bring in a lot of money for like the mobile gaming community right but it just really makes you think, right? And the thing is, for the longest time, I thought Injustice 2 was going to shut down, like, eventually, because that game was going to go, dude, the stuff they add, it makes, that doesn't make sense, but it's like, it's like, huh? Like, when you think about it, it's like, there's like no more, they, not even like that, DC has so much material, like, there's so much you could do with DC, yet, it, it's just like, that game, the landscape of Injustice 2 from like what it was in the beginning to now is so drastically different. I think the best point of Injustice 2, like, wow, I think like the uh, four or five year mark, I think, or well, mobile anyway, but yeah, four or five year mark, this was bad. It was like, it was kind of balanced in my opinion. But like, from the get go, it was still kind of like, it wasn't the same thing as its predecessor, Injustice 1 mobile and let me just say that one was a be it was it was beautiful i i still wish that they didn't like just leave that game to die because that game is still great i still love it i don't play it anymore but it's still great i had no problems with it at all it was perfect maybe i'm blinded by nostalgia but still but yeah injustice 2 it's so different it is such a different thing yet it still does well like it's kind of confusing or it still brings money i don't know about well but it still brings money um like because they just to see for the longest time, they they used to add like a characters like back to back. Like, it was like character on a basis. Now it's like every so often you get a character, which is like meh, whatever. But like when you look at the updates, it's like every like three, four months. You know what I mean? You can see it getting slower. And you can say like it's because, you know, the teams were like diverting into like the same Motocom onslaught or MK1, you know what I mean? But it's like it's such a it's like it just is too it's such a weird spot because it just had an update today where you could actually get like, well, if you some not something if you buy the premium option of the battle pass, you could get like uh, a legendary character at two stars, which is, which is all right. But I mean, for the free to play players, like that's nothing to them. Like that's like, what are you gonna do with that? But like, dude, that game it has such so has such high potential. But I think they gotta really gotta rehash that because. Soul Race is honestly, I, that's the only thing I even do, like, the only thing I pay for Injustice 2 anyway, in the well, well, mobile anyway, it's just Soul Race, because honestly, the rewards are good, there's a chance you might get a good character from the rewards, right? And yeah, that's pretty much it, it's not a bad thing, it's kind of fun, but other than that, no, like, <laughs> no, I would not touch anything else. The arena system is hit or miss. If you, you know, download the game, um, or make a new account within like the update of the game we get put into a new arena and then you get you know get climbed leaderboard pretty quickly like almost every single arena season to get good rewards if you don't you are so screwed me my stupid self didn't know this obviously i downloaded the game when it first came out knew about it earlier but i downloaded it when it came out i got put in one of the most sweatiest arena it still is the sweatiest arena. i do not know why they have not fixed the arena system it has been i don't know how long has it been like what eight or nine well, maybe not eight or nine years. That feels like extensive, but it's been a long time. It's probably seven years, probably. But dude, like seven years of this game, and like the most mediocre. Like, <laughs> let me see. Actually, let me see. Let me see how long it's it's been this game. It's been yeah, it's been seven years. Their seven year anniversary was like two two months ago. I'm pretty sure. Their anniversary, that was a joke. In my opinion, it it was a joke. Because it was what? Maybe like bug fixes, like quality of life stuff, and then like a, the anniversary pass. No new characters, none like that. So I was like, what, what kind of celebration is this? This is like, <laughs> this is like a spring cleaning update. But like, I can't, I mean, maybe something in the back end, I don't know. But like, it just felt very like weird to me that like this update was like, was very minuscule. Mortal Kombat Mobile though, like I will say for them, so, like, that's like the that's their money maker obviously the, i will give it to them because like they be consistent ish i know they kind of slowed down like the, the character rollout but like now recently they just put in like three characters at once which is huge for mortal kombat mobile right but like as a whole like what do you see from like what mortal kombat mobile was 
to now. I think it wasn't even called that. It was called MKX Mobile until they just rehashed it. <laughs> they didn't really change the name. Um, so now, like, the landscape was so different because Mortal Kombat Mobile, or MK, I'm just going to call it Mortal Kombat Mobile because that's the official name. Back then, you actually had to buy characters. Like, you had to go in the store, use your souls, and buy the characters that you want, like, individually, which was cool in the, in the abstract. But, like, if you have any souls, you're cooked. Um, you have to buy characters and like you can buy them each time you want to like fuse or put some like extra cards into them which was again which was a cool feature just as two has that feature still thankfully um actually do they well yeah you can appreciate you can i think but they kind of did like they still had the booster packs option but like if that's if you wanted to do it but like if you didn't need to then you just you know buy characters that you want and souls were kind of like they're kind of rare back then like now you still get them like fairly often but like they were rare to get when mortal kombat 11 came out i think that's when like the bigger shift happened because that's when they switched to like the wi-fi bases only because people were doing glitches and stuff way back when right and then once they switched to, like the little network basis the game you couldn't do any of that stuff anymore right so they, they took out you know buying characters with souls like you can still do that yes we get with the booster packs you can't do that like buying them individually anymore so they took that out and then the game whole game was basically rehashed right and that's and the thing is they still i think they had this like twice and they never did it again they had um this thing called character trials right it's basically what it was is like the character was quote unquote out and you could try them out and I, th I don't know if they gave you the card or a, a copy of the card. I don't remember what it was. But they gave you the card, I think. But the problem is, people exploited that. And they got, they did it over and over again. And you could max dupe that card within the whole time frame of the trial. It was insane. The second trial was Raiden's. Uh, Dark Raiden, to be specific, in MK11. But they changed it up so like where you couldn't do that anymore. And then I think people were just like, yeah, whatever. And like, they just, they just never did it, I swear. It was MK11 Jade and MK11 Raiden. That was it. I'm pretty sure that was the only trials in the game. And they just never did it again. Which makes sense, I guess, because if people were exploiting it, exploiting it, excuse me, um, then it's not a really fun time for them on the back end, right? But um, yeah, all in all, all in all, like, this is pretty sad because not just for like me as a content creator like making content in the game or used to make content in the game but like it's kind of sad to see because like some of your favorite games that you know and love are just susceptible to like just vanish at any point and like all the hard work that you put into the game is just basically just gone you know what i mean so i'll leave it at this like it is sad to have this happen it's it's sad to like the workers because i know i don't know them on a personal basis but i've been in some of the discord um Discord meetings and whatnot, and I've, I've seen like the amount of love that the community managers and does behind it put into the game. You can definitely see how much love they care about these characters, right? But I guess the higher ups just just they don't really see it as a, a good commodity. You know what I mean? They just felt like it's just not something that they want to have working on. So I guess that's why MK Online is being shut down. I don't know the reason. I wish I did, but maybe they explained in the Discord. I don't know. We'll have to see. But only time will tell. Again, I am. Truly sorry for the workers behind MK Stocks. Again, you can see the love that they put in that game, absolutely. But unfortunately, it just didn't work out. But anyways, I'm gonna wrap right here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you guys would like to see me play, if you guys would like to see some Mortal Kombat Mobile slash Injustice 2 content on the channel, then I will do so. I mean, it's been a long time. I mean, my collection is pretty huge. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not, I'm not gonna like, I'm not trying to boast myself, but like, it's true. Like, I have a pretty big collection of. I will cover it. It won't be the same as like, like it's gonna feel really weird because like, I usually don't really cover those two. Mortal Kombat Mobile, eh, maybe like, I think once or twice in Justice 2. I think I did it like once, maybe twice too as well. Um, but like, ugh, man, it's gonna feel so weird because like, I'm like a, I feel like a veteran in that game. I pretty much am because I've been playing them since launch, but like, man. Oh, okay, it just feels so weird. But yeah, stay tuned for some other games that'll be popping up on the channel as well. I'll be checking. I'll be fixing the upload schedule. It is uh, kind of messy right now, but it will come out. But it will be fixed promptly. With that being said, my name is LC. Have an amazing day. God bless, and I'll catch you all later.